Hi there, here we are at Jacquard Studios today, and today we're going to show you how to use the photo emulsion and diazo sensitizer to prepare your screen for burning so that you have your image on your screen. First thing we have to do is open this little package. So, what we have here is your sensitizer, which is a powdered form, which we'll be adding water to, and then the photo emulsion. So the directions on the sensitizer say to fill this little bottle about half full with water. So we're going to open it up and we're going to fill it about half full with water. There you go. See? Half full right there. The lid back on. Give it a really good shake. You want to make sure that you shake it really well and ensure that all of the sensitizer is dissolved. Good shake, good shake, good shake, good shake. It's looking pretty good, I'm going to set that aside. And then you open up the emulsion, emulsion, photo emulsion. Take off the numerous lids. And I'm going to keep that for me. Add the sensitizer to the emulsion. So this is quite liquid, and the emulsion is rather um, thick, a little more viscous. So as you begin to stir this, you want to um, exercise a bit of caution, otherwise you'll end up with sensitizer all over, as I have done. So you're stirring this. You can see the sensitizer is quite a bit more liquid than the emulsion. So it takes a moment or two to get it all stirred in. Or three. Or maybe even seven. You can see it's changing color too. And that's the addition of the sensitizer. That's causing the color change. Okay, pretty well mixed in there. So you can see it's changed it colors quite a bit by the addition of the um, sensitizer. Right. And now we're going to put the lid on this and set it all aside and let it rest for about an hour or so, hour to two hours. We have very specific instructions right here on the back, also in the booklet that comes with the kit. It's been about an hour, hour and a half since I've mixed up the um, photo emulsion with the diazo sensitizer, and now I'm going to show you how to apply that to your screen. So generally speaking, you can see that it's quite bright in here. Generally speaking, you do want to work in an environment that isn't super bright because this is a photosensitive product, and photosensitivity means that you want to keep the light down to a minimum until you're ready to actually burn your screen. So work in a dim area as opposed to a nice bright lit studio. Here we go. So what you're going to do is lay a, a, a thin bead of the emulsion along here. That's probably more than I needed, but we'll see. Cap that lid because this lasts for quite a while if you keep it from the light. And then pull that around your screen. Now the whole idea is to create a nice thin layer. Look at all that on the other side. Create a nice thin layer of emulsion on your screen. And the way you do that is to work it back and forth from either side. So this is, there's a little bit of a learning curve with this, but not a terribly large one. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but as I'm working this, here it's thinner and then here it's heavier. So I'm going to come back over here on this other side and pull that off of there. And work it through that screen. And you're moving fairly quickly because, again, light sensitivity and 
this will begin to dry out, which is what you want it to do. Right, so it's actually starting to look pretty darn good here. Now, these edges along the side, not to worry so much because we're going to be taking this off at some point. All right, we're looking pretty good there. Now we're going to put this in a dark area and let it dry. Okay, here we are now. Now we're getting ready to actually burn our screen. Our screen has gotten nice and dry. It's been put into a dark um, area or a closet or some other place that's not going to be exposed to light. It's gotten completely dry. And now we're getting ready to set it up to take it outside and expose it in the sunlight. Now we're doing sunlight today, but there are many other ways that you can expose it. Sunlight's very satisfying because it, you can do it pretty darn quickly between 10 and 45 seconds. It's a nice bright day in the middle of the summer. That's, that's going to be what it is. So here we go. We're getting ready to set this up. Once again, we're working in a bright lit area, and this is not something that you would normally do. Normally you would have you would be doing all this setup in a dip, very dim area or an area that doesn't have very much light in it. So here we go. Here's our screen. And then I'm going to take this out into the sun sunshine with a surface behind it to keep sunshine from um, coming up from the bottom. I'm going to set my image on top of it. So this is an image that's been um, printed onto a transparency. And I'm using some tape to hold it. You can also put a piece of glass over the top of it. Okay, now we're going to run out to the sunshine. Here we go. Okay, here we are outside now. I've carried it out, kind of tucked up against my body so it doesn't get exposed to the light. And here we go. All right, exposing this to the light. Now again, um, no hard and fast with the sunlight, but I have nice bright sunlight today, so I'm going to start with about 30 seconds. Okay, we're going to call that 30 seconds. <laughs> then I'm going to tuck it up against my body again and run to the hose. Here we go. Here we are. We're going to pull our image off. Oh, see? Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good. Okay, then we're going to come over and... So what we're doing is washing the unexposed um, emulsion out of the design. So here we are, we've washed all the emulsion, all the unexposed emulsion, but you can see here where it's just a little bit lighter green, that hasn't completely um, um, reacted with the sunlight, so I'm going to take this whole thing out now that I've got all the excess out and put it in the sunlight and let it harden up and dry. Then we'll have a screen that's ready to work with. The screen's nice and dry. You can see it's, it's completely sensitized and the emulsion that's remaining is hard and will, you now have a screen that will last for repeated screenings. You can use this probably most of your lifetime if you take care of it. Um, once you've screened, what you'll do is wash everything out, wash your inks out. But before we get to that point, I'm going to show you, how, I'm going to show you this last um, step of prepping the screen for um, actually pulling the screen. And what you want to do is tape off your edges. Now you notice that when I laid this down there were some open bits here. Not as much as I um, thought, but there were some open bits. So uh, what I use is um, this, this gray tape. Now the one thing to keep in mind is that when you put this down you don't want to get too terribly close to your image, but you want to make sure that you've got all your edges covered because it, these edges almost never get completely filled in with the um, with the emulsion. So you want to make sure you get that all in there. And when you're putting and you're going to put it on both sides. So what you, the other thing you want to be certain of is that when you put you've got your piece here and then when you put your other piece on you want to line the edges of the tape. So you've got your edge here see here, you're going to line your edges of your tape up so that you don't end up with sticky bits of tape poking through or showing through on your um, screen. So line that up nice and tight, tuck it into the corner, lay it down like this, and then you're going to do this on all four edges. And when you get done, 
Okay. So this will look all like this on this side, and all like this on this side, and then you're ready to go. Ta-da!